Hello viewers, this Not Too Fast here. In this video I'll be reviewing another backup camera from the company Autobox. This one here is their brand new cordless backup camera. There are no wires you need to connect to the camera and the install will take less than 5 minutes. So stay tuned and I'll show you everything you need to know about this backup camera system. Let me show you the unboxing of this Autobox Solar Wireless Backup Camera. There's a user manual. There's a 5 inch color LCD monitor. There's a wireless backup camera. There's a USB charge cable. There's a power cable for the monitor. And there's a windshield dash mount. It also comes with an Allen wrench for securing the camera to the bracket. Here's a look at everything that comes with this camera system. Now with this system, you can also purchase an optional solar panel that you see right here. You can clip this solar panel directly onto the camera and plug this USB cable into the side of the camera and whenever you're driving the vehicle during the daytime it will automatically charge your battery inside. This solar panel also has a very high solar conversion efficiency. It's rated at 21%. Many of the other solar panels are above 15 to 18 percent. That means more of the sunlight will be converted to electricity and can charge the internal battery much faster. Let's go over some information about this wireless camera. Inside is a lithium-ion rechargeable battery that's rated at 3350 milliamp hour and is used to power the camera. The maximum operational current is 430 milliamp at 4.2 volts. When the camera is in standby mode, it draws less than 1 milliamp, so it has a very low standby current. Now for a fully charged battery, if you run the system continuously non-stop, it will last for 7.5 hours. Now for most daily drives, if you use the backup camera say 3 times a day, 60 seconds each time, then the battery will last anywhere from 45 days to 2 months. The camera is on the right side here. The resolution is 800 by 480 at 25 frames per second. The viewing angle is 115 degrees and the minimal illumination is 0.1 lux which means it's able to display an image with very little ambient light. Now the camera does transmit a digital signal to the monitor and the transmission distance is 230 feet or 70 meters. And the operating temperature of this camera is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 149 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. To the left of the camera this is LED indicator. On the end there's a power switch. You can swivel the camera up and down 30 degrees. On the other side, if you remove this end cap, right here is a micro USB connector for charging the battery. So you can plug this into a USB charger to charge a battery. Or if you got the optional solar panel, then you can plug the solar panel to this connector. Above the charging port, there's an LED indicator that will light up red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. Now if you did get the solar panel, you can clip this directly onto the camera. Remove this cap and then plug the cable from the solar panel directly into the camera. With the solar panel, you don't have to mount this directly on the camera. You can remove this bracket you see here is held in by two small Phillips screws. Use the included double side tape, place this on the back of the solar panel. Now you can stick this anywhere on the side, at the bottom, or the top. Right here is a 5 inch color LCD monitor. I'll go ahead and remove the protective film. On the side of the monitor, there's a menu button. Up select, down select. Over here is the antenna for receiving the RF video signal. In the middle, this is where you install the mount. And to install the mount is very simple. Slide this onto the back and slide it up. You can place this on the windshield or on the dash. Lift up on this lever, put this on the surface, and lock it down by pressing this lever down. Now to power the monitor, use the included power cable. Plug the connector to this plug. And then plug this power adapter into your 12 volt accessory port. Now I'll power on the monitor. Now when the monitor is in standby mode, the LED indicator on the left side here will illuminate red. Next I'll power on the camera by pressing the power button on the side. And now you see the live video from the camera. Now if you look at the LCD display, you also notice there's a battery indicator. This will tell you the charge level of the battery inside the camera. If you press the menu button on the side, you can select BC control for brightness and contrast. 
You can increase or decrease the brightness. Next, MU control. Now, depending on how you install the camera, you might want to flip the image horizontally or vertically. Reversing time. This is how long the display will stay on. Default 60 seconds. You can change to 90 seconds or 45 seconds. Guideline. You can turn on and off the parking guideline. And the last menu item is reset. This will reset the settings. So let's take this to the vehicle, get it installed. I'll show you what the picture looked like during the daytime and nighttime. Now to install the wireless camera, use the included double sided tape and then you mount this camera bracket behind the license plate at the top or you mount it at the bottom. For this install, I'll be installing this at the top. First, I'll remove the license plate. You can stick the bracket behind the license plate like this and then install this onto the vehicle. Now to make getting to the bolt a little easier, I'm going to remove the camera off the bracket. Go ahead and remove the set screw. Now you can slide the camera off. Now you can install the license plate with the bracket. Next I'll slide the camera back on the bracket. Now if you have the optional solar panel, you can clip this directly on the camera. Or if you want, you can remove this back part. And using the included double sided tape, you can stick this on the side or at the bottom. As long as the cable will reach the camera. To install the solar panel, you need to remove this cap at the end. Next, plug the solar panel to the camera. Now you can clip this on. Now if you line up the hole at the bottom of the solar panel and the camera, you can reinstall the set screw so everything is secured and this won't come off. To turn on, press the power button once and the red LED will illuminate for a few seconds. To install the monitor, remove this plastic on the sticky pad, lift up on this lever. Now place this on the dash and lock it down by pressing that lever down. You can loosen the collar at the back and adjust the angle of the monitor and lock it in place. Plug the power adapter into your 12 volt accessory port. When you start the vehicle, the monitor will automatically turn on and you'll see the live video from the wireless camera. Now after you install the monitor and you can see the live view, you can adjust the angle of the camera. Now you can also change the size of the parking guideline. What you want to do is press and hold the menu button. Now the line will start flashing. Use the up and down arrow button to change the size. There are six different sizes you can choose from. Once you confirm the one you want, press the menu button. Now this parking guideline is set. The display will stay on according to the time you set. After the elapsed time, the monitor will go into standby mode. At any time, if you want to turn on the display, press any of the buttons on the side here. And you'll see the live view. You can also press a button on the power adapter and that will also turn on the live view. Now the monitor will show you the charge level of the internal battery inside the camera. If you don't have the solar panel and the battery is getting low, you can use a portable USB charger and charge it. Or if you want, you can take the camera off and charge it inside the home. If you're not going to be driving your car for a couple of days, you can turn off the camera by pressing a button once, give it a second, and then press it a second time. You'll see the red LED flash two times, and the camera will turn off. And when you're ready to use it, press the power button once, and the camera will turn on. Once everything's set up, it's very simple to use. So if you're backing up or parking your vehicle, this camera system will allow you to see what objects or people are behind you. Here's a look at what the video looks like during the daytime. As you can see, the picture is very clear. And here's a look at the nighttime view. With the night vision feature, the live view is also very clear and allow you to see what's behind you so you don't accidentally hit something when you're backing up in the dark. Overall, this cordless backup camera system works very well. As you saw in the video, the picture quality is very clear and it works very well for both daytime and nighttime. Installation is also very simple. You don't have to mess with any power wire or wiring into the backup light. 
With a rechargeable battery fully charged, you can use this for up to two months. You can charge it with a regular USB charger, or you can get the optional solar panel, which will maintain the charge on the battery. If you want to learn more about this product, check out the link below. Let me know your thoughts about this camera system in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.